Hello everyone. Today I'll do AI motion capture in Plask Motion and then work on attaching fur to our 3D model in Blender. Using Plask Motion's powerful video-based mocap tool, you can create it all together in less than 30 minutes. First, drop a dance video that will be used in your animation. I will be tracking a single person and will not be putting in a T-pose. If you don't have a video, you can get a free video from the source I left in the description. You can see the status of the animation being extracted in the asset panel. Extraction is complete. Drag the extracted animation asset to apply it to the scene model. Let's play the animation. Looks good. Select the scene model and click export on the right side. Blender supports both GLB and FBX and I'm going to export to FBX this time. Now I go into Blender. Delete a box and let's add a plane that will be our stage. Import the model I extracted earlier. While making sure the animation is imported correctly, we also adjust the position of the model. OK, now let's set the stage. After selecting the plane, pressing tab and selecting a point, and cut the plane from the point. I'm going to change to line selection mode in the top left and stretch the line. Then make a curved surface. Hmm, that doesn't look good. Instead, I'm going to select the border and bend it. That's it. Now I have a finished stage look. Let's start lighting it with some nice colors. Create a light and point it at the model. For today's lighting, we'll use a combination of blue and purple.
How about that? Does it look great? I've also set up a constraint for both the camera and the light to face the model. Let's create a fur on the model. Select the model for the particle settings. Click the plus button, select hair, and adjust the length. Use advanced to enable hair dynamic. Turn off the even distribution to add some randomness to the fur. Under volume, you can set the air dog for how much it will be affected by air. Set the children to interpolate it, and I'm also going to tweak the display amount a bit. That's it! I'm going to store the fur movement in the cache. Finally, modify the material for the fur. I'll also turn on the jitter camera option. Hmm, I'm going to modify the camera angle a bit. Well, it looks like there's nothing more to fix. Check the camera. Set a directory to save the render and check the render settings.
All right, nice rendering. Extract your dance moves for free from Plask and upgrade them to match your style. See you next time.